Hello everyone, this is Satvik and in this video we'll be discussing about a cool tool which is named as NameMesh and this tool is used to create a possible usernames which can be later used for the brute forcing and stuff. So without getting any delay, let's dive into the video. And also guys, before diving into the video, like if you want to connect with me personally, you can check out my Twitter and LinkedIn. And also if you want to be part of this channel's community, you can check out my Discord server where you can ask your queries and also get informed regarding the latest videos that I'm going to post on my channel. And that being said, all the links will be in the description below. So you can do check that out and coming to the tool. Uh, so this is going to be a small tool and it's going to be a lot effective. So you can see like uh, this tool uh, is like it, gen it generates a list of possible usernames from the pe person's first name and the last name. So if you take there is a lot of about us pages like for example about us if you type about us or some sort of stuff like I'll show you a simple example over here. Like uh, most of the time in CTFs and stuff, you can see a page. Uh, if it is based on web page, you can see some sort of like an about us page where you can see their usernames, like who is the owner of that company and some stuff like that. So like uh, you may sometimes find a way to log in, but you don't know their possible username. So username is not going to be in sort of the normal name, right? No one is going to put their name like meet, uh, like Johnny or something like that. If they if they have like a full name, so the username generally in the format of like a single word sort of thing. So guessing it is probably not going to like, uh, uh, like it may not do good for you. And there comes this awesome tool. So I've been using this tool for some time and uh, I felt like mentioning this tool uh, may do good for you guys as well so just uh, go to the url that i'm going to provide over here and just copy this code so copying in the sense like go to click on raw and copy this thing okay like if you copy normally right you can you can miss the indentations and stuff so that's the reason so i copied everything here and this is based on python 3 so i guess you guys already have python 3 but if not like simply try apt install python 3 and hyphen pip and it is going to take some time and you are going to have your python 3 installed on your machine and let's see uh, it requires some uh, name called as names.txt so it requires a file called as a names.txt like I, i'm trying to explain this code as well like you can modify this thing as well so like if it is not available it is going to show you it's not found or some sort of stuff like that and there comes the important thing like how it is going to generate so it is going to classify the name in the format of first name and the last name and these are some formats okay like it is going to add first name and the last name last name and the first name first name dot last name and these are some possible combinations but uh, this is not only it guys like uh, you can like i try to modify it like you can add something like uh, uh, for example like print uh, f name plus l name and at the end you can add some sort of digits or it's your choice you can do whatever you want okay like you can edit it and uh, you can keep it in such a way that it could do good for you but by default like ctf since it is a ctf so it should be made simple right so these are the possible combinations that you can always see and most of the time these are the possible combinations you can see okay so that being said you can try to modify it and you can do whatever you want okay and uh, that is it so control s and control x so i saved it and let's give the executable rights so ch mod uh, plus x and uh, let me enlarge this a little bit so name mesh dot pi okay so let's generate a small uh, usernames file so it is simple so nano uh, users okay dot txt and i'm going to give some names like sai sarvik okay uh james bond uh tony stark uh tony stark and uh, peter parker uh alexander uh Gram, something like that i'm giving some sample names over here okay so you can give whatever you want like like see the, for the exam for the time being i'm giving some random names but as i told you right so when you find some page where you can see the about us section in the about us section you can see a lot of names over there like not only the about us section if it is based on blocks you can see the names over there so try to uh, uh, put all those names into a file okay so in some sort of users.txt file or some sort of stuff like that but in order to show this simple for you i'm i'm using some simple uh, like simple names or random names over here so control s and control x so how to use it is pretty simple so python 3 okay, since it is based on python 3 name mesh and uh, names uh, sorry it's like users.txt 
and you can see these are all the possible combinations okay like uh, like most of the time these may be working for you like if you feel like as i told you right if you want to edit something like you can always go ahead go back and you can edit those okay so it is going to be wonderful okay like these are all the possible combinations like uh, like in the real time uh, you can try this on the real time as well but the chance of like uh, identifying is really less okay like there may be a possibility where they can uh, add something like for example satvik for double five double five or something like that like this tool cannot generate all those stuff so in those cases as i told you you should be able to edit that file since it's based on python 3 python is pretty simple so you guys can learn it like uh, within a day or something like that okay so you can edit it but for ctf's purpose like this is wonderful tool like you guys can use it and uh, i have like um a hundred percent of the hit rate till now like i was able to able able to find out some usernames uh on the wordpress on on some blogs based on wordpress and some sort of stuff like that and these usernames like any one of those username will be definitely working for you so for ctf purpose like i can give like 100 percent like since it should be simple right so you can find it simply but in the real time it always depends okay like you cannot always guess the right username okay and uh, where to use this thing is like you can use this tool to like uh, since you got the username so we can put into something like uh, uh names.txt for example you can put anything like that so if you do cat names.txt names.txt and if i do word count like you have 55 words over here like previously we only have like five words or some sort of stuff like that but we have like more possibilities over here so now you can use this word list like this usernames list and you can try to brute force or do some kind of like uh, some kind of like password spraying and some sort of stuff like that so that is where this tool is really going to be useful and also guys in the next upcoming videos i'll be covering a lot more videos on how to do password spraying like some sort of stuff like that and if you really end up liking this video make sure you like it and do share with your friends who are really interested in these sort of stuff and uh, all the links will be in the description below so if you really end up liking this video make sure you like it and uh, this is satvik signing off i'll meet you in the next video thank you